In April 1978, the Communist People's Democratic Party of Afghanistan, PDPA, seized power in Afghanistan in the Saw Revolution. Within months, opponents of the communist government launched an uprising in eastern Afghanistan that quickly expanded into a civil war waged by guerrilla mujahideen against government forces countrywide. The Pakistani government provided these rebels with covered training centers, while the Soviet Union sent thousands of military advisors to support the PDPA government. Meanwhile, Increasing friction between the competing factions of the PDPA, the dominant Khalq and the more moderate Parkham, resulted in the dismissal of Park Army cabinet members and the arrest of Park Army military officers under the pretext of a Park Army coup. In September 1979, Nur Muhammad Taraki was assassinated in a coup within the PDPA orchestrated by fellow Khalq member Hafizullu Amin, who assumed the presidency. Distrusted by the Soviets, Amin was assassinated by Soviet special forces in December 1979. A Soviet organized government, led by Parkham's Babrak Kamal but inclusive of both factions, filled the vacuum. Soviet troops were deployed to stabilize Afghanistan under Kamal in more substantial numbers, although the Soviet government did not expect to do most of the fighting in Afghanistan. As a result, however, the Soviets were now directly involved in what had been a domestic war in Afghanistan. The PDPA prohibited usury, declared equality of the sexes, and introducing women to political life. The United States has been supporting anti-Soviet forces, Mujahideen, as early as mid was 1979. Billions in cash and weapons, which included over 2,000 FIM-92 Stinger surface-to-air missiles, were provided by the United States and Saudi Arabia to Pakistan. The Soviet war in Afghanistan resulted in the deaths of over 1 million Afghans, mostly civilians, and the creation of about 6 million refugees who fled Afghanistan, mainly to Pakistan and Iran. Faced with mounting international pressure and numerous casualties, the Soviets withdrew in 1989 but continued to support Afghan President Mohammad Najibullah until 1992.